So I don't really have much to say other than we're gonna create some really cool titles and the cliche, roll the intro. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So I don't have a specific name for this tutorial other than cinematic space titles, but that's not really what we're doing. We're just gonna create some really cool cinematic titles and I'm gonna talk about several techniques to do this. And of course, there's so many different ways to create awesome cinematic titles. This is just one way and hopefully you'll walk away from this tutorial confident enough to create some really cool titles on your own. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and let's get started. All right, so we have After Effects loaded up and we have some really cool elements we'll be talking about. So we'll jump into our tutorial composition and the only thing I have in here is our title in here, that's it. So the first things first, we're gonna animate the title to come in kind of flickery, just kind of give it more of a cinematic, you know, transition in. So how we do this is when we have our title in here, what we can do is go into our title layer, go to, to go to animate and we can add opacity and we're gonna set the opacity down to 0% and then we're gonna open up the range selector of one and we're gonna add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward to maybe two seconds and we'll set it up to 100%. Now simply you get this fade on, not what I want. I want this to flicker on with an opacity mindset. So we'll come here to the advanced tab and we're gonna set the randomized order to on. And I'm gonna come here to the end stopwatch and I'm gonna add a keyframe for this and I'm gonna move forward and I'm just gonna bring this down by a little bit, move forward a little bit, bring it up. And I'm kind of just creating like a little wiggle here, but I'm not doing the expression because I don't wanna have to, you know, add more code than I need to and then keep it back up to 100%. So this will, and this is our animation and it definitely has a little bit more of a dramatic, you know, transition in. Uh, let's go ahead and add some more elements to this. So first things first, I wanna add like a light sweep to this. I kinda wanna make this pop out a little bit more. So what we'll do is come here to effect generate and we're gonna add CC light sweep. Now one thing you're gonna wanna do, and what this does is adds like a very bright light, you know, wherever the anchor point is. And one thing you're gonna wanna make sure you do is if you're using a white title, you want to make sure the title is a little bit offset gray so it's not complete white it's like a light gray this way you'll be able to see the the light sweep easily and you can see that it has a nice contrast there so what we can do is bring this anchor point over to the left side add a keyframe for center make sure you're at the beginning of the timeline go to like say six seconds because that's the end of our animation and we'll bring this over to the right so this will animate this line will animate across our title like this and then we can increase the edge intensity and also the sweep intensity by a little bit. And this will make things a little bit more, you know, easy to see. And once all said and done, we have our title animation and it's ready to go. So let's, so let's go ahead and talk about the most important part of this tutorial, which is the overall scene. So I have a couple of elements in here that we'll be using. One is a fractal, which we'll be using as a background. You know, and fractals are used for like background elements and this is something we'll be able to use. And you know, you can grab fractals and a ton of other awesome elements from a pack called Cine Punch, which has over 9,000 assets that you can add into any you know premiere after effects project and easily boost up the quality of your project if you want to check out cine punch you can check our links in the video description and of course you can just download our project files to get these elements that we'll be using in this tutorial and i'll go ahead and bring this fractal underneath our you know composition here and as you can see you know definitely adds a lot more atmosphere to our titles and this is what you can do when you're trying to create these cinematic titles is just bringing in assets and seeing what works so so what i can do here is go to effect color correction and I'm gonna add CC toner and this will allow us to easily be able to change the color so I'll come here to the midtones and make this a little bit more on the blue side and that's fine click OK and then we come here to the highlights if there's any highlights here we can maybe put a touch of red in it and there's no highlights in this clip though so that's okay but the shadows actually have an impact you see the shadows are those those dark areas so we can make the background a little bit more you know a very dark blue and click OK all right awesome and of course another element I would like us to think about is particles just adding more elements into these scenes definitely makes a huge difference so this is a particle asset and of course you'll be able to download this with the project file i'm going to set the blend mode here to screen uh this way we can see through it and now and now with our fractal and our particles there's definitely a lot more you know value in the scene however just adding elements is not enough we have to be able to composite this together and make it look good and of course there's still a little bit of work left to be done with this scene before we can say hey this is awesome so what we need to do is go up to layer new adjustment layer and we're going to effect stylize and we're going to add CC vignette. And this is going to help tie our scene together. So I'm going to set the amount up to like 500 and I'm going to go ahead and bring down the angle of view to maybe about 25 and a little before and after just kind of just helps bring more focus around the main area of our composition. And that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and create another adjustment layer and I'm going to call it noise. 
and we'll go to ooh, effect noise and grain and when i add just noise i'm gonna set the noise to five percent and uncheck use color noise and this will make things a little bit more grungy and definitely something i would use when working with motion graphics it definitely adds a huge amount of value to your project so just adding the vignette and noise definitely makes a little bit more of a cinematic difference into this but we need to go ahead and add some more things into this so what we're going to do is going to add like a little bit of pre-animation blur to this and what we'll do is go to layer new uh, adjustment layer and we'll call this blur and we'll make sure that this layer is on top of everything we'll go to effect blur and sharpen and we're going to add uh, camera lens blur and we'll come here to the beginning for timeline and we'll set the blur up to 14 and we'll go ahead and add a keyframe for blur radius go to say like two seconds or so and set the blur radius down to zero and let's kind of go back here a little bit. Let's go ahead and set the roundness to 100% and check on repeat edge pixels. All right, and this just adds a little bit of pre-blur to our composition and definitely looks really cool. And of course, if you want to animate that out, you can go ahead and do so. So next up, I want to add a little bit of glitch distortion to this, and this is really cool to do. So we'll go up to layer new solid. And we'll call it fractal. And then we'll go up to effect noise and grain and we're going to add fractal noise then we'll come here to fractal type we'll set this to max go to noise type and set it to block then we'll go ahead and increase the contrast to like 200 bring down the brightness until we see like just a few number of blocks in here so maybe 200 and negative 100 is good go to transform uncheck uniform scaling and increase the scale width so we kind of have like these long lines in here and we, we could decrease the scale width by a little bit and that's good. Then what we'll do is we'll go to begin of our timeline and we'll come here to evolution options. We'll add a keyframe for random seed. Then we'll move forward to the end of our animation. I'll just say six seconds. And we'll set the random seed up to like 10, 15. Don't go crazy on the number because we just wanted this to animate randomly. And this is what we have. Great. Then we'll go to layer pre-compose and we'll just call it a uh, noise map. And we'll move all attributes into new composition and click okay. We'll go ahead and turn this layer off because we don't need it. We'll go ahead and create a new adjustment layer. And that was a lot of go aheads right there. Then we'll go to effect distort and we're going to add displacement map. So underneath the displacement map layer, we're going to go ahead and set this to noise map. And there's that. And we'll rename this to uh, displace. And we'll bring this adjustment layer underneath all of our other adjustment layers. Then we'll go ahead and grab our background, which is our fractal. Hit S on our keyboard for scale and we'll scale this up. And now we'll have these distortions around our composition, mostly around the text. Of course, you can create like a background layer if you want to see more of those distortions, but they're there. And this definitely helps just add a little bit more value to our scene. Now let's go ahead and finish this up and let's talk about the movement of the scene because it's right now everything is stationary and I want to add a little bit more to this. So what we'll go ahead and do, so what we'll do is go to layer new camera. We'll click OK. And we'll toggle switch the modes and we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline. We'll make and we'll set everything to a 3D layer that is not an adjustment layer. So it's just basically the bottom three layers. Then we'll go ahead and open up camera one, go to transform one, add a keyframe for position, move to the end of our animation. And we'll come here and we'll grab the track Z camera tool here at the top and we can just zoom into our scene. This way we'll kind of be pushing in on our scene that adds a little bit more movement. Now, what else I like to do here is go ahead and go to layer new null object and we'll parent the camera to the null object. Then we'll hit P on keyboard for position. Then we'll all click the stopwatch for position and we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis 0.5 comma 40, close parenthesis. And this will add a little bit of camera shake to our composition. So those are the steps to create these sort of cinematic titles with a dark feel to it. And of course, if you want, you can animate the titles out like I did over here. And of course, if you want to be able to expand on your title library, once again, I invite you to check out Cine Punch, which has over 9,000 assets ranging from particles, lens flares, and so much more. And you can check those links in the video description. So there are a few ways from this tutorial that you can create some cool cinematic titles. Of course, we've done a handful of tutorials on cinematic titles in the past. So I, I invite you to check out the rest of our channel where we've done tons of these types of tutorials in the past. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post several post-production tutorials every single week right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.